Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live. Today we're gonna take a look at this um, tool, online tool called Monster Mash. Basically, like kind of like a three D modeling tool that allows you to draw and sketch like a monster or whatever creatures you wanna create very very quickly, and it's gonna create some kind of like a balloon result. Um, uh, if you go through their tutorial once, uh, you will understand uh, the process, like. You can see here, um, you can actually draw legs and it's gonna mirror the legs for you. I'm just gonna do like a quick example demo and how you can bring this into Blender. Um, or you could animate this inside Monster Mesh, but uh, we're gonna do it inside Blender. So yeah, let's try. So let's draw some kind of monster. Uh, can create a random shapes this is the base and we can create like legs or arms or maybe eyeballs so I'm trying to make something here so I'm kind of wondering if this actually gonna be the legs behind it so I have to try this and see how it how it works once you have this kind of weird looking design, um, you can inflate. So once it's inflated, it's almost like a blender inflate. Um, and it's, it's actually smart enough to kind of generate limbs, arms out of your sketches. And then you can animate it. Um, okay, so this is actually 3D in a way. Yeah, and then you can, yeah, let's try animate. You can place like dots to represent the joints. And then you can start animating by clicking on this record playback and animate. So it's a uh, very, very interesting. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, uh, yeah, when it's overlapping, it, it generates this separate parts, and I don't quite like that, but that's okay. For us, because we are using Blender, we can actually export out uh, the template projects for texturing, but we don't need to worry about that either. We're just gonna export the OBJ of this. So we can, you can save this or just leave it. So let's quickly open up Blender. I'm using Blender 2.93, but you can also use 2.92, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna select all, tap A, delete X, file, import, OBJ. From downloads. Yeah, I think we have our character. So there's like a separate limbs, extra but they're kind of close together, and you can actually just remask them. But because they are separate, you can also give like a different material if you like. For example, here. So let's save this very quickly. File, save as monster match. I go to edit mode, I can select all of them and give you the material. So by default it's already have this base material. <clears throat> give it a color. Okay. And for parts, you know like Maybe like this is, can be like eyeballs or whatever. Let's try this. Select the dots and then Command L. You can create a different material. Assign it. You can so you can do that sort of thing. Oh, this one is actually connected. Huh, interesting. 
So these can be the eyeballs. Okay, imagine this like a monster, crab, character. This one doesn't have UV map, unfortunately. So select all smart UV project. I just tap F3 and then create a UV very, very quickly. And then we want to texture it. Um, I'm going to go to texture paint. I'm going to start painting, but it's going to complain. Oh, missing texture. All right, so we need to add a, for our base material, for example, give a texture, base color. Okay. So we have, yep, yeah, this darker color green. We can start painting. So there's a whole process. This part is probably going to take you a while, but it's really enjoyable. Texture painting is fun. And you're creating your character. And you, you save, don't forget to save your texture also. This is going to be. really quick design the point is uh, just really to have fun creating your monster character Re uh, remember this is also 3d so don't forget to paint the back of your character oh well, this one It's like an eyeball. Normally, you we'll also want to use the, like a super dark color, like that. And highlight. Because this is a cartoony character. Okay. Yeah, I put the eyes there. I was gonna put it over there, but it's okay. So don't forget to save your texture okay that's the texture file save as my monster mass save okay now we have this so we need uh, we want to be able to animate it so shift a create an amateur this armature um, usually for a character like this really simple I want this to be the handle of the character so I'm gonna keep this but I'm gonna start extruding it up and then I want to snap it to the rest of the body um, with this armature I want also to be able to see in the viewport so make sure this is in front okay so now I go back to edit mode and I want to snap this to the character volume. So we can do that. So let's create this. So I'm simply extruding for our character. This character has a lot of limbs and parts which is can be too much for animators but in our case it's probably okay because we are using Blender and this is just a simple character. Okay it's getting difficult to select Maybe I will turn this into stick. Select this part. Oh, cannot. 
Okay, that's interesting. There. Okay, that's our armature. I'm just gonna select this guy and then select this guy. Parent, command P, and use automatic weight. Should bind our character, and we should be able to go to post mode and start animating. Okay, a quick animations that I'll I will do is using I will use this SJ pacer. So basically, imagine this is character kind of like a stick of your character, like a puppet animations, and you just want to re record and report the motions of your hands animating. Supposedly this is something okay. You're probably using like a motion capture or something to capture the, these motions. Yeah, I think I yeah, I have an animations now. Just hundred fifty frames. What I'll do is go back to post mode, select everything. SJ Pacer, set the frame to 200, let it calculate. So now it's gonna have, have a think. It's gonna calculate all the motions based on these parents um, to drive all these tentacles, antenna, and the limbs. So imagine it's just like a simple basic puppet character. Ideally, if we can just export the animations from Monster Mesh into Blender, that would be nice. Let's save this. Save project. Yeah, this might take a while, but you know, you understand the process. Like from Monster Mesh, creating like a three D balloonic creature is gonna be a lot easier okay now it's done go back to object mode let's go to this mode so it's a little bit faster we have animation <laughs> yeah it's a it's a weird one but as you know it's a our little monster character so you get the idea this is um kind of like a monster mesh, but normally in 3D, if you're animating, um, the correct way is really just to have controller for each limbs, etc. Sometimes you want, sometimes you can animate with just this auto IK without using any controller. This is also kind of okay. It's creating like a clever IK. It doesn't always work. But it's a. Uh, if you if you create the bones correctly, this and this way of animating can work. But I'm just using this SJ Pacer. But you can also use another add-on uh, add-on called uh, Spring Bones. This one also is interesting. You can create spring from any of these bones. It's gonna behave differently. So this is H SJ Phaser, right? We, have, we already have animations for all the limbs, etc. If I extend this for 400 frames, I think, and it, if I select these bones and start to turn on this spring and rotations, the bones will be controlled now by the spring. So you can see if I turn off auto IK. We can have this animations going on. And this is real time. I don't know. Uh, I think it's still interesting that you, you're able to do this. Uh, 
and then but you need to usually bake this after so this is also another way uh, you can animate on top of this so there you go that's a uh, kind of the whole process so 3d modeling painting quick rigging and adding controls in my case I'm really using this HJ Pacer. It's a spring jo kind of like spring joint bones that you can add to your character based on a single animations that you created. This will create all these bendy uh, like secondary animations. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.